Welcome! Finally, less na tayo sa loss of exponent. Welcome to solve math like a boss. Okay? So, last part ng loss of exponents, we have zero and negative exponents. So, ito, uh, effect lang to nung mga nauna nating loss of exponents, si zero at si negative exponent. Kasi minsan, um, kapag ginagawa natin yung mga, yung loss kanina, yung mga, kanina, yung ibang loss of exponents, nagkakaroon tayo ng result na zero exponent or negative exponent. So, ano yung rule natin or ano yung gagawin natin para masimplify yung isang expression having zero exponent or negative? Let's do this. So, sa zero exponent, sabi dyan, if x is raised to zero, um, it means that that expression will become 1. Dapat si x ay hindi equal to 0. Ganun lang kasimple. Hindi na natin kailangan patagalin pa. Kapag ang expression nakaraise sa 0, it is always equal to 1. Example. The first one is e x raised to um, 0. So, since yung buong expression naka-enclosed by a parenthesis raised to 0, that's automatically 1. Ganun lang. Now, what if the given is 3x raised to 0? This is from the first example. Yung first natin, naka-enclosed by a parenthesis. Yung second example natin, hindi. So, it means that only the variable x has an expo exponent that is 0. So, ibig sabihin, ito lang ang magiging 1. Si p ay mananatiling 3. And then, we're going to multiply it by 1. And the final answer is 3. Kita yung diferensya, yung difference? Yes. And next, third example, the whole expression 5 plus x is raised to 0, then that means the whole expression is equal to 1. Okay? Ganyan. Now, the fourth example, nagyan natin ng ganito para makita nyo na yan ang mga sabi. Fourth example is different from the third one, bak kasi si x lang ang nakaraise sa 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung 5 ay 5 pa rin plus anong x raised to 0? 1. And the final answer is 6. Yun lang ang 0 exponent. What about negative exponent? If n is an integer, then x raised to negative n is equal to 1 over x raised to n. Yan to lang. Kapag ang variable mo ay may negative exponent, ibig sabihin, we have to change the position para ano lang. Kung nasa numerator siya, ilalagay mo siya sa denominator and then get the absolute value of the exponent. Magiging positive. Kapag nasa denominator naman siya, mapupunta siya sa numerator. Example. This is x raised to negative 4, y raised to 5. So, para masimplify natin, since negative yung exponent na to, whole number siya, parang whole number over 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung y raised to 5, mananatili sa taas, kasi hindi naman negative ang exponent. And then, yung x raised to negative 4, magiging x raised to 4. Positive na. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay? Hindi naman natin pwede ma-apply yung division law kasi magkaibang variable. Next example, the given is x raised to negative 6 raised to 3, uh, application ng power law. So, magiging x raised to negative 18 kasi according sa power law, multiply the exponents. Since negative ang exponent yan, we need to change the position or location. Since numerator to, mapupunta siya sa denominator and then magiging positive na sa exponent. Bakit nagawa dito kasi Pag 1 ang numerator, hindi pwedeng tanggalin. Okay? Kung walang natira sa taas, ay 1 na lang. Okay? Hindi siya pwedeng wala. And then, this one, hmm, uh, application siya ng base law, so magkakaroon siya ng 5 squared, x raised to negative 6, y raised to 6. Since x po ay negative ang exponent, we need to change the position or location. So, si 5 squared sa taas pa din, si y raised to 6 sa taas pa din, and then si x raised to 6 nasa baba na. Kasi nasa taas siya, bababa siya kasi negative exponent niya. And then, final answer, kailangan natin evaluate to. So, magiging 25, y raised to 6 over x raised to 6. Ganun lang. Next example. Dito naman po, we need to simplify first or divide natin 48 divided by 3. Ito, the answer is 16 sa taas. Si A raised to 4 mananatili sa taas, si B, um, lagi tayo ng fraction bar, si B napunta sa baba kasi negative 3 siya, so magiging positive na ito. And si C raised to 5 mananatili sa taas kasi positive. 
So, si A raised to negative 2, pupunta siya sa taas kasi positive, negative siya, change the position. Si B sa baba na raised to 5, mananatili sa baba. And then si C na nasa baba, negative 3, pupunta yun natin siya sa taas, tapos magiging positive na. And kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong press na variable sa taas at press din na variable sa baba. We need to simplify. So, magiging 16, A raised to 6, kasi product law, we need to add the exponents. C raised to 8, all over C raised to, this is now our final answer. Okay? Question. Yeah. Let's do this. So, the given is negative 2x squared, y raised to negative 4, raised to negative 2, and then that one. So, ang gawin natin, i-expand muna natin to. Kasi since yung buong expression natin ay naka-raise sa, sa negative 2, pwede natin siya para maging positive. Change mo yung position ng buong expression. So, lahat siya mapupunta na sa ilalim over um, negative 2 squared y raised to negative 4 and then naka-raise siya sa positive 2 na. Okay? Tapos itong buong expression na to, nasa taas siya, 3x raised to negative 2 y. Kuha? And then, kung mapapansin nyo, over 1, para makita nyo yung pag pinagkaiba. Yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong negative exponents. Expand natin to or i-distribute na natin. So, magiging negative 2 squared x raised to 4, y raised to negative 8. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong negative 8 dito. Kailangan natin siyang dalhin sa taas. Magawin natin. So, yung y raised to 8 positive, nasa taas na siya. And then, 4x raised to 4. Kasi, negative 2 times negative 2, positive 4. Times si 3y na iwan sa taas, ito, tsaka ito. Kasi, pares positive. And then, si x squared, mapupunta na sa baba para maging positive. Okay? And, apply natin yung product law. So, multiply numerical sa numerical, 3y raised to 9. Kasi, 8 plus 1, 9. All over, ito ay magiging 4x raised to 6. Kasi, 4 plus 2. The answer is 6. Ito na yung final answer natin. Yan. Yan. So, since maubusan na tayo ng time, hindi natin ito masasagutan. Okay? If you are new to my channel, subscribe. Thank you!